good morning everyone it's time to wake up oh my god that was a nice i've already woken up and then i got the camera and i laid back down and pretended to wake up again but here we are today brand new day i've got to clean up my workspace i've got to get prepared to go on the road we need to get some water i'm out of water i can't even brush my teeth or anything until then i'm probably just gonna use my water bottle to brush my teeth today but we gotta get some water so that i can live normally so let's prepare shall we God, it's so gross. Of course, you can never go wrong with coffee in the morning. My fridge stayed on all night running on propane power, which is very good. Didn't even have to have the generator on. It's, it's just amazing to me that we have the ability as humans to do that. It's just, it blows my mind. Gotta get the lovely ice in our cup and then we can fill it with coffee. Remember, all my coffee is stored in this container. I can't make new coffee till we get water, which we're gonna do today at some point here. But for now, look at that. Amazing. Best way to start the morning is with some coffee. You can't forget your Coffee Mate Snickers creamer here. Absolutely amazing. About that amount would be good. Stir it up and check it out. You got yourself a nice lovely cup of coffee in the morning. Oh, amazing, amazing. <laughs> packed up and ready to go all that's left is to turn off the refrigerator turn off the propane and then we go I'm wearing a hat because my hair is a mess I, I haven't obviously showered today I woke up and uh, we're gonna go get some water so that I can actually shower tonight so let's go do it let's go get some water by the ocean oh my god not ocean water but you know my refrigerator did me very well but we're gonna turn it off now because I don't like to have my gas appliances on while I'm driving could cause some problems you know Lock it up because we're done on the inside there. Now let's turn off the propane. Okay, we've used up some of it, but you know, that's just how it goes. Turn it all the way off there. That thing screws forever. All right, we've turned off the propane. Very good. Now let's hit the road. There's the RV. It's so weird seeing it among all of this truck stuff. There's snakes here apparently, but what I'm more interested in is the ocean. This rest stop is amazing because you can get a view of the ocean. Check it out. It's the ocean. Look at that. We're on the edge of America. Amazing. Okay. We've made it to the lovely beach with the water available, but it's raining a little bit, so I can't use my normal camera. My phone is waterproof though, so I can use that. So I need to figure out, am I gonna dump my tanks or just get water. I definitely need water, but do I want to dump my tanks? I don't know. Let's find out. Probably we'll need to unlock it would be the smart thing to do. Our gray is half full, black is half full, fresh is empty. So because they're only halfway full, I think that I'll be good to not dump today. I'll go one more day, especially because it's raining and uh, it's it's cloudy. It might start raining even more and that'll save me. It'll save me some money in the long run, only dumping when I actually need to. The only problem is I might I might only be able to last one or two days before I'm gonna come back here and dump. So let's get some, some quarters so that we can get some water here. How about that? And I wanna open up our water compartment here. Which way does it go? Does it go that way? I guess it goes that way, okay. Water compartment and water compartment. Two water compartments. Beautiful day in the neighborhood, right? Fantastic day. This water is so cheap because it costs like 25 cents. I love it. Push that in with our finger there and pull it out. That's the easiest way to take it out. The little metal thing that was on here that you pull out, it broke. Look at that. It broke, so I just, I have to like take it out now. But that's okay. Okay. Those goes here. Let's start with 25 cents here and just run it. All right, we should be having water now. I've got these gallons of water that I'd like to fill up also because there's no there's no point in wasting money. It runs for five minutes, whether or not I still need to use it or not. So will it fill up in five minutes? I don't think so, but look at that. You can see in the tank that it's, it's starting to like bubble a little bit and that means that it's filling up, which is good. The way that they've designed the spouts on the RV, I, every RV that I've seen does this. It is very annoying. It's just a waste of water because the air in the tank has to escape when the water's going in and this little hole is the only thing that allows that to happen. So it just wastes water, it's really dumb. Well, that's clearly full, so time to start filling up my jugs here. Make that happen, shall we? Okay, whoop! That's just kind of how it goes. That one's gonna be done here shortly also. Good. And this one as well. 
good. We're gonna fill this up a little bit more because some water has been splashing out. I gotta be ready. I gotta be ready to plug it up as soon as it starts to overflow like this. Right there, okay. Yep, got it. Oh man, okay. Now we're gonna turn the water off. Good, good. I'd say pretty successful, right? You know? Oh man. Put those back in. Well, yeah, good enough, right? We'll see if it closes or not. I don't know if it will. Well, hey, it closed, but we gotta like shove it in there. There we go. Cool, I have water now. Ugh. These are gonna be used for gray and black water treatment rather than having to take directly from the tank. That way it gives me a little bit extra water, two gallons more of water that I can have at my disposal. And these I'm just gonna set here for now. And while I drive, these are probably best kept in the shower just in case they start leaking. It, it'll at least go down the shower drain, right? I'm gonna lay them down like that. It'll at least go into the shower if that's the case. So that's good. Well, that's about all I need for now. So the rest of the day is just, is just a work day. I may go to like a Walmart or a Lowe's or something and work. That way I'm near a store and I can just relax for the rest of the day and get some work done. And now I have water so I can shower. That's the most important thing. All right, I'll find somewhere to go. I'll see you when we get there. arrived I just leveled the RV I just used the level to see how level it is and it is slanted a little bit so we'll see if the fridge works or not I don't know we'll find out this whole parking lot is slanted I don't know if you can even tell the whole thing so let's just let's just see what happens if we try to turn on the fridge because I know that I am very curious all right propane is open let's try it out power on the fridge let's see what happens man I, I don't have very high hopes but we're gonna find out well, it clicked on, so we'll see how it does. Well, before we do anything else, I have found a McDonald's that is a six minute walk from here. I am starving and I need some type of food to be able to do my work, so let's go to McDonald's. <laughs> can't believe I'm actually, I'm actually doing it here. We are living the life. It's tilted. I really hope that's not a problem for the refrigerator, but we'll see. McDonald's allegedly is this way, so let's go. I see it. You see it down there all the way right there you see it i just really wish that i was traveling somewhere fun but unfortunately i have to get some work done before i can do that that will be coming soon i promise i will be traveling around but gotta get some work done you know before i can do that that's the current priority so i will be going to the salton sea very soon though i'm excited about that look at this beautiful path that leads to mcdonald's what an amazing place mcdonald's is oh my gosh beautiful flowers everywhere it's like heaven you know what i mean Look at this, McDonald's has been graded with an A because it's a beautiful place. Remember when you used to be able to go and like get your own drinks? That was crazy. You could have refills and stuff. It's still just, just crazy, the, the pandemic, you know? You used to be able to go to McDonald's, get a cup, and then you could have as much drink as you wanted, you know? You could refill it. It's not that big of a hassle, but it's just, it's bizarre that that's what's happened to our world. You know what I mean? It's dystopian is what it is. Craziness, I'll never get used to it. Oh man, we've made it back. Fridge is running. Beautiful day for McDonald's, don't you think so? I certainly do. I'm so hungry right now. I've not had breakfast, I've not had lunch, it's already like noon. Oh my God, my hair's a mess. But we have water, which is good. So I can take a shower at some point today. Thank God for that. I'd like to do a live stream on my YouTube channel and I don't know, we'll see if that's possible. I, I did a speed test of my phone internet. It seems to be good here, so we'll see if I can make that happen. Mm. There's so much work, so little time, but it's also that I can have some time to go out and explore the world in the future. Beautiful McDonald's, hell yeah dude. I needed this. Mm. I got some salt with my McDonald's order. I'm gonna keep this salt and I'm gonna use it on my fries, but if I had any extra salt, if they gave me any more, I would store it. I have a place to store salt and condiments that fast food places will give you, you know, for later use, just in case one day I need some salt, you know? I got some, you know what I mean? Same with the napkins here. These are paper towels. They're just as useful as paper towels. I can keep these and use them without the need to buy paper towels. It's, it's a win-win scenario here. Um, very delicious fries from McDonald's. Mm. 